not fair. Hi, I'm Katie Fehrenbacher with Gigaom TV's Green Overdrive Show, and I'm here with Saul Griffith in Other Lab, where they produce Anya Cycles. So tell me a little bit about Anya Cycles and what you guys are doing. So Anya Cycles is sort of an internal project at Other Lab. It was like, well, the electric bikes that we want to exist in the world don't exist, so let's build them. So what we particularly are focusing on is electric bikes that can carry you and the sort of cargo that you want to replace all of those car trips of zero to 20 miles. Um, so we're building three different models. Uh, a tricycle that you see here that carries uh, 100, 150 pounds plus you at about 20 miles an hour. Uh, and then a, a smaller sort of BMX size bike and a, and a long tail bike. Um, so you know, 50 pound load, 100 pound load, 150 pound load plus you so that you can do all your groceries, you can carry your kids around, take them to school and you know, uh, eliminate sort of the 70-ish percent of car trips that are less local. than 20 miles local. Okay. How much do you think something like this would cost? Uh, these will cost, um, we will we'll do them purely mechanical and they'll be sort of 2,500-ish. Without the battery, the battery in the motor, you mean? Without the battery in the motor and then with battery and motor it'll be sort of around 3,800. We're, we're still trying to beat that cost down as much as possible. Okay, and same with the bike, the two-wheeler? Uh, they'll, they'll be about $1,000 each, so maybe 1500 or 1800 for the two wheelers. Okay. Uh, they get about 1500 miles per gallon equivalent, which is pretty great. Mm -hmm. um, they're nice and quiet, and certainly for trips less than 10 miles, it ends up faster than a car. Uh, really? And you said 20 miles per hour is the max speed? Yeah, so that's the legal top speed without assistance for an electric uh, bike, so we've designed it so that it's exactly that with the, as much torque as you can produce at that speed. Okay, so tell us about the design of the bike. Why did you make it look like this? You'll notice the first thing is we've gone with 20 inch BMX wheels. Uh, that's for a couple of reasons. One is they're, they're stronger. Uh, it also helps us keep the center of gravity low for carrying loads. Uh, and it also enables us to get higher torque for going up hills. But the, where the real novelty in the design is in the steering mechanism. And we can even show you how we did some of that design work. Um, so you remember that tricycle you rode as a two-year-old and that romantic feeling. Well, if you had the same tricycle you had as a two-year-old and you tried to ride it now, when you go around corners quickly, you just, you just fall, fall right over. over. So yeah, we, when I rode the Zap kind of yeah. three-wheeler, I was like, whoa, when I was going around the turns. Not so good. So the, <laughs> so the real innovation here is the steering system that enables you to lean into a corner, leaning and steering uh, as you go around the corners. And so a huge amount of work uh, went into designing that system. We actually had to write our own simulator and, and optimization code, like 7,000. You know, now I sound like a real nerd. <laughs> so we, we wrote 7,000 lines of code to optimize the steering geometry to give you your driving experience. And that's, that's actually really what we did. And that's also to make sure that whatever's inside the basket isn't going to spill out. It's also to help the whatever's traveling with you, be it your kid or your groceries, that it stays in there and, um, and it also moves with you. So the weight, the weight moves with you, not against you. This is the uh, development bike. So this one, it looks a little bit like the dog's breakfast because we're <laughs> testing pretty much everything. It's got a whole bunch of extra sensors on it and a whole bunch of extra things just to, to try everything out to make sure the production runs all perfect. Oh yeah, the brakes are like strong. <laughs> um, I think that was the optimal application, right? 
going up the hill at 20 miles an hour carrying a bunch of stuff. Like I could not do that without you, yeah. something like this. This is what it's or for. Or a car. Yeah. yeah.